welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Sagittarius. Let's call in spirit with some enchant time. How is that like the very bottom of the wind chime? So I feel like you're doing some work on the foundation. So you may have a change in address. You may be working to um, improve the financial security that you have. There's something about your foundation or your home that you're really uh, focused on. All right, we're gonna start with the Masonic Tarot. Not for Sagittarius. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Sag. So there you are. Very first card. I love it. Temperance. You are balancing things out. You are making sure from within and from without, shit is solid and good. So we also have somebody here who is maybe trying something new, doing something that gets them a little bit outside of their comfort zone. That may be why we're focused on building a foundation that would be particularly strong. But I also feel like there's something here you're being led to do by your intuition. Maybe you're getting signs or synchronicities to do this in particular. And it could be pertaining to letting go of a close relationship, a friend or a lover. So we have the Nine of Mallets in the reverse. This is the Nine of Pentacles, by the way. Yeah, you're being asked to reject or cut somebody out that is codependent on you. Somebody that uses you. They want you to focus on yourself instead of investing your time and energy into somebody who is basically like living off of you. Somebody that is not giving back to you and making it harder for you to regenerate when you use your energy. So that was the Two of Mallets in the reverse, which is the Two of Pentacles. Then we have the Knave of Chalices. Somebody keeps apologizing, doing the same shit, and then coming back to your well expecting to drink for free. Somebody hides their motivation or their purpose for interacting with you. They pretend it's emotions, but it's really that they want what you have and they see you as easy prey. If I pretend I'm going to change, they will keep feeding me. We have the Hermit coming out sideways. I feel like you have seen an increase in your intuition because we have the third eye up here all glittery. And you've been working to help others begin their own journey or invest in the right things. But there are those that are choosing not to follow your advice or counsel and those that are choosing to instead stay in their stagnant state. That's a lot of us, Sagittarius. And those people that have chosen, they don't want to continue on their journey or work through their shadow work, we are being asked to leave them behind. Don't invest in people who do not want to help themselves. 
this is a lesson that's been hard for me to learn, Sagittarius, so I feel your pain. But you cannot waste your resources on people that throw them out. That could help somebody else. If they refuse your help, they refuse you. King of Malice. If they are not willing to focus and invest on the things or in the things that actually matter and make them a better person, then they need to find it on their own. These are people who feel codependent on you and know that they can make it through by taking from you. You are being asked to not give to those that will not make things happen for themselves. Reject those who are stagnant. Reject those who tie themselves up. Yeah, I know I can get out of this situation. I know exactly how to get out of here. But I'm going to sit here and whine instead. Sorry, Sagittarius, ain't got time for you anymore. This train is moving, and we only have room for people who are also moving. And you're sitting in a pile of your own shit, so. Ace of Malice. You are a gift. You help people move their progress. This is a pentacle. It doesn't look like it. <coughs> in the Masonic Tarot, Malice are pentacles. You help people find their stability and create their own blessings, their own abundance in life by showing them how to build that foundation. But you can't help people build that foundation without them being a willing participant. This gift that you are is not meant for those that do not view it as a gift. So we have the Three of Swords these people who continue to drink from your well but not learn the lessons you preach are either going to break your heart or already have. They could multiple times. These are people that refuse to heal. These are people who hurt others because they refuse to heal. The universe doesn't want you to be dealing with these people because they don't deserve you. What did I say about this ladder? You have a good connection, a strong connection to your intuition and your third eye. And then we have the hermit here with this glittering third eye. You understand things that others do not. You are a guide. And here we have spirits, the other side, souls, veil, mediumship, contact. You help others because you are a messenger. For some of you, you may be into doing tarot yourself. You may have communicated with others uh, that have passed on. There's something here you already are well aware of. You're a weirdo just like me. <laughs> and Spirit wants you to be thankful and grateful for this gift and hone it, improve it. Work on it. Clarity, transparency, justification, disclosed, fair. You have answers at the top. Your clarity or your intuition will only improve over time the more you invest in it or believe in it. And those that doubt you, 
expect it to be an amount of time where that happens and then they realize they're wrong. I know I have friends or yeah, no, they're acquaintances that I've done readings for who, yeah, no, that, that part wasn't true. 97% of it was true, but what's this? No, I don't, that's wrong. You're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. But I know for a fact, two months down the road, three months down the road, that, that they're decrying or denying or not wanting to believe will be proven true to them. Do you think they're gonna tell me that that happened when it happens? Because I don't. Some people don't want to accept that you know more than them. And that's fine. Let them think they know more than you. Okay, you're right. You don't need any guidance. You're doing just fine. These are the people who will twist your words, try to make it seem like you're saying something when you're not. So Spirit is asking you to be very intentional with the words that you speak or write and to remember that it's constantly a balance. Constantly a balance. You have to take the 5D with the 3D, the spiritual with the reality, right? And make sense of those two. You blend them. It's not easy. Sort of truth. You will not be liked by everybody. You will be hated by many because you tell the truth because you reflect the truth back to people the truth they probably spent most of their life or at least years trying to avoid that's your gift you show people the truth of things you remove their rose-colored glasses you check their ego Most people would like to stay in that. Oh no, I'm actually really important and your messages don't matter. But part of it is also people don't like that you are a little bit scary, that you can see things. You're a trendsetter. Your visions can make people comfortable and uncomfortable all at once. If this is resonating for you, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe. I'm going to get some additional clarity here for you with the OG, the Rider Waite. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Dang, guys, I'm making a mess over here. All right, so we have an Empress in the reverse trying to change I don't see it working out because we've got three of wands and six of wands in the reverse this one was flippity floppity all over the place I see this as people waiting for you to go low vibe, waiting for you to let them feast off of you again. It's not gonna happen. You've changed. You've learned from your lessons. You're not gonna go down the same path again, but that doesn't make sense to them because they're so used to, you know, going in a loop, learning that same karmic lesson over and over again. But you know that this is the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new chapter for you and that there are new things coming your way. You know this from within. Nobody can tell you otherwise. And 
If you don't already know, then you should be aware that there are some people that can come with you and some people that can't. Those that are unable to see the balance between the 5D and the 3D will not be allowed to come with you. Those who seek to keep secrets from you or hide their motives from you are not allowed to come with you. We'll get a couple more from the Tarot de la Nuit. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, there are people trying to convince you not to walk away, even though I'm sure the feeling you have is that that's exactly what you need to do. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. There are those that would like to rush in and tell you lies. They want to prevent your success. There are those that have figured out you are at the top of the Wheel of Fortune and they are at the bottom. They're feeling regret or remorse for how they treated you, but they're not fully willing to change their behavior. The way people apologize or take on accountability or culpability for how they have treated you is your litmus test for who can come with you and who cannot. You have the Ace of Wands. You have a new beginning regardless. Nobody can stop it. Some people may be jealous of it, but like I said, they can't come with you if they don't belong there. All right. And since it's my favorite way to end the reading, we'll go with the Zodiac fortune telling cards for you guys. Let's see what this has. Your troubles will vanish. Happiness ahead. I love to see it for you, Sag. You deserve it. You are going to be happier than you dared to hope. But you do have a false friend. Beware. I think for some of you, this person has short hair, dark hair. A marriage will take place soon. So that impacts you somehow. It could be your new beginning. It could be your announcement or in terms of like figuring out who is really a good friend. But either way, it looks like you've got some pretty solid intuition. Pay attention to it and you'll be fine. Thank you for all the support. Have a wonderful rest of your day.